Hey, what is up, investors? I'm Jason. In this video, we're going to be talking about 10 stocks that are primed to have a short squeeze. Now, this video is not any sort of financial advice, so please do your own due diligence. But if you are familiar with what is going on with these short squeezes with AMC, GameStop, etc., uh, this isn't about fundamentals in the company. This is about making money by playing the game differently. Hedge funds and institutional investors are the ones that are always making the money driving the stock price down, manipulating the markets, and the ones that are left holding the bag are the retail investors. So when you're investing for a short squeeze, it's all about buying the ones that are the most highest shorted stocks and making it so that the hedge funds and these institutions, these short sellers, the ones that are all about profiting off of the price of that stock dropping, end up having to pay even more to cover their shares. So as we get to this, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash, destroy, annihilate, or gently press that like button because it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Help spread these videos to more people that might find it interesting and subscribe if you have not already. And if you're interested in being in Patreon, join the private Discord and helping out this channel. I have one. The link is in the description. Thank you to all the Patreons. Now let's get to this. <laughs> So let's look at some of the stocks over the last month that are having a pretty big short squeeze going on at the moment. So we have AMC, which AMC is having an insane short squeeze at this moment. A lot of people are talking about it. Pretty much everybody's talking about it. Many different news outlets are having a little bit of pullback of the day that I'm making this. But it's it's been a crazy ride, of course, going from the stock going from a price as low as around $2 earlier in the uh, in the year and then now going on this insane ride that it's currently on. And then another one is GameStop, who had a pretty big one that happened earlier in 2021, and now is slowly climbing up here to a pretty big one at this moment. Another one is BlackBerry, who is at the moment having a really big short squeeze going on at this time as well. Not that many people are talking about the one that's going on with BlackBerry at this moment, but BlackBerry is currently having a pretty big short squeeze but now let's get to the ones that are primed for a short squeeze and there's actually going to be another bonus one i'm throwing in there's actually 11 but 10 sounds much better so the first one is workhorse group ticker symbol wkhs now workhorse has a public flow of 113.38 million shares and if you guys don't know the difference between shares outstanding and public float, shares outstanding can mean shares that are also not available to the public, ones that could be having restrictions. So the public float are the ones that are actually able to be out there trading on the market. Now, of these public float shares, 41.93% of them are shorted. And the short interest is actually 47.54 million shares. So looking at Workhorse over the last year, what we can see is that at one point, Workhorse's stock had gone up above $42 a share, and then it ended up losing that big catalyst that it had with the USPS contract. Lost that over to Oshkosh, who surprisingly, they don't even make electric vehicles. Now, Workhorse's stock, just a few trading days ago, actually got down to around $7 a share. Now we're seeing it on this whole upswing. Now, some people are saying that it's still not really worth much of anything because at one time, a workhorse stock last year, back in 2020, was trading for under even $2 a share. And it was really that big catalyst that was the big driver for getting this stock up. But in general, this stock is still primed for a short squeeze. Next is Clover Health, ticker symbol CLOV. Because remember this, this was a SPAC stock not that long ago. And then it recently had a merge a while back. And now Clover Health has a public float of 112 million shares. And of that flow, 36.1% of it is shorted. So we saw Clover Health dropping off a lot into the new year. The stock just ended up tanking down. And now it's even below the price that it was in its SPAC days before it had finished its merger when it was IPOC. So uh, this one has taken quite a bit of a beating still. And even some people will say that this one is pretty much on sale at this moment. But it has a lot of potential for a really big short squeeze. Next is Blink Charging, ticker symbol BLNK. Now, Blink Charging, their public flow is 36.14 million, and of that, 35.88% is shorted. So if we look at Blink Charging stock over the last six months, what we'll see back in January, the stock was trading for at uh, some points above $60 a share, and even into early February, and then the stock eventually came crashing down. Now, currently, Blink Charging stock is on a little bit of an upswing, but just a few days ago, the stock was still trading for 
around $30 a share. Now, at the moment, it's moved up a tad bit, and it might continue, might not continue, but Blink Charging is definitely primed for a short squeeze. Next, we got OnTrack, ticker symbol OTRK. Now, OnTrack currently has 7.34 million shares in its float, and of that float, 35.81% are shorted. On track over the last six months, this stock had gotten as high as $100 a share back in uh, January and February, but then the stock did end up crashing down. Currently, it's trading for around $30 a share at this moment. Next is Esperion Therapeutics, ticker symbol ESPR. Now, they have a public flow of 27.74 million shares, and of that, 32.93% of them are shorted. Now, looking at Asperion stock over the last six months, at some points, the stock was trading for twice as much as it currently is worth. Now, at the moment, it's trading for around $20 a share. And this stock, in my opinion, is primed for a short squeeze. Next is Archimoto, ticker symbol FUV. Now, this is one of my favorite EV stocks. You guys have heard me talk about this over the years. Really like this one. Got in around uh, $2 a share or something like that originally. Now, they have a public float of $26.84 million. And of that float, 32% of it is shorted. Now, looking at their stock over the last six months, back in J uh, January, February, this stock was on fire until... It eventually just ended up crashing down. The stock had really peaked out with the whole EV craze that was going on. And now we're seeing the stock trend up a little bit. But it definitely is primed for a short squeeze. And not only that, I really like this company. I think that there's a lot of potential here because now they are actually starting to do more production on their vehicles. And uh, getting that out to the market. So great stuff coming to this company, by the way. Next is Root Incorporated, ticker symbol ROOT. Now, they have a public float of $51.28 million. And of that float, 31.79% of it is shorted. Now, back in January and February of this year, Root stock had gotten as high as above $25 a share at some parts. But the stock eventually came crashing down in February. Now, it currently is trading for a little bit more than $9.50 at the time I'm making this video. Next is Smile Direct Club, ticker symbol SDC. Now, Smile Direct Club has a public float of 103 million shares, and of that float, 29.83% of it is shorted. Now looking at their stock over the last six months, back in January, it had gotten a, as high as about $16 a share, and currently is trading for near half that at this moment. Next is Lordstown Motors, ticker symbol R-I-D-E, ride. Now they have a public float of 111 million, and of that float, 30.83% of it is shorted. Now, looking at Lordstown Motor Stock over the last six months, it was doing really well uh, coming into the new year. And even back in January into February, uh, Lordstown Motors has gotten as high as above $31 a share. But it then eventually came crashing down after a short report ended up being pretty damaging to the company. And a lot of people had a lot of hopes for this because they, they are making an electric pickup truck. Now, this stock ended up going below the price that it was when the SPAC was actually announced, below the $10 mark. And uh, we recently saw this stock go down under $7 a share. Now, currently, we're seeing it trade for around $13 a share at this moment. Next is Lemonade, ticker symbol LMND. Now, this was one of the big IPOs of last year. Now, this one ended up seeing quite a big hit in their stock um, but their public flow is 35.69 million and of that 29.3 percent of it is shorted now lemonade's ipo was back in july of 2020 and we ended up seeing this stock go up as high as above 180 dollars a share and currently we're seeing it trade around prices that it was back in the beginning stages back in the first you know couple weeks of the stock going public so uh, there, this one could be really primed for a short squeeze, in my opinion. This last one is Canoe, ticker symbol G-O-E-V, go E-V. Uh, Canoe's public flow is $99.86 million, and of that, 29.14% of it is shorted. Now, Canoe is one of those SPAC EVs that had a lot of, uh, a lot of people uh, very bullish on it. Now, we saw this one ha go from prices close to about $25 a share, but that wasn't very uh, very sustainable, and now we're seeing it more so around $8, $9 a share, currently at $8.91 at the time I'm making this video. But 
Canoe uh, is very much primed for a short squeeze in my opinion and this one still has time before their vehicle even comes out to the market uh, so this will be a good one in my opinion for a short squeeze as well with all the uh, the short sellers that are currently shorting the stock these 11 stocks that i'm talking about in this video uh, these are ones that are actually have more short interest in them than amc gamestop and blackberry so these are the some of the 11 most shorted stocks out there and workhorse is actually the number one most shorted stock and i think it's very interesting to see what's going on here now i base this entire list off of the ones that i picked were the ones that their uh, stock price is still lower than where it was at in its highs over the last 52 weeks so that's where i'm getting a lot of this from is that's the way i picked it i think that these are ones that are still trading for lower than they were at a previous time over the last year or even the last six months so that's why i think that these ones in particular are primed for a short squeeze so i'd like to hear what you guys think about that do you uh do you think that these ones have potential for a short squeeze but keep in mind that i'm not telling you guys to do a short squeeze or anything like that i'm just talking in particular ones that i see that have a lot of potential now with that being said i'd like to hear everybody's thoughts please like share comment and subscribe new videos coming out on my channel all the time thank you guys for watching i'll see you all in the next video coming very soon